So in 04, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And it just turned my life around, upside down. I was depressed, I was afraid, didn't know what tomorrow was gonna bring. Um, and the fear just overwhelmed me. And so I started taking um, tranquilizers and pain pills and sleeping pills and trying to basically, um, you know, just cover up all the, the fear and the depression I was going through because I did not want to accept that I was sick. And I've always believed in the Lord, but you know, um, I never had a personal relationship with Him. And um, it got to the point where it got so bad that my, my family left when I woke up and found out that they were gone and that, you know, my life was out of control. Um, I was heartbroken and scared and I knew, I knew I had a problem but I just didn't know what to do about it. And so here I am in my home, and um, the cable's turned off, um, and there's, I have nothing to watch on TV, because uh, you know we could, I didn't afford to pay it, I didn't care about that, but I had your radio station on, and I listened to Positive Life Radio. And through a smoke-filled, dungy basement, and me, um, I still drank and I was still taking my drugs, um, but it came to the point where my daughter legally was not being able to be with me. And so I, that's when um, I finally decided I needed to get some help. And so I got off the drugs and I got off the alcohol and it was really hard because I was going through withdrawal and I was all alone, and I was just miserable. But I had Positive Life Radio on, and I kept you guys on 24-7. I did not turn that radio off. And during the prayers during the week, I'd call in and I'd do prayer requests, and you guys, would, um, you guys had people who answered the phones and prayed with me. So I called a lot, and you guys just kept me going in the midst of, you know, it, it was, I felt like I was in hell. I mean, it, it was horrible. And I listened to you guys, and I listened to Focus on the Family, and I listened to the church services and the music. And there were some songs that just brought me to my knees. I mean, every time Hallelujah would come on, I would go to my knees and just pray. And, uh, you know, I cried, and I repented and um, I you know got through the withdrawal and I signed myself up to go to treatment and so I still had to wait a while to get into treatment so I kept listening to you guys and I just kept praying and um, in that basement I surrendered I absolutely surrendered to the Lord and you know you were my family at that time what I've realized for myself is that the Lord wanted me to do a lot of service for my church and a lot of sacrifice because I really needed to become humble and this last year has been so great and so humbling and I see what the Lord has wanted for me and um, it's been a roller coaster but I know I just know what he's doing in my life and why he's planted me where I need to be planted. I'm getting um, back together with my family. I have some legal problems, and you know, I still have some things to do. Um, but my family and I are together, and we're going to church together. And my daughter, Kate, who's 11, is going to youth group and loves the Lord. You know, it takes time. I just want to let people know that if you're in my situation, there is hope. There is hope that you can get out of addiction, and there's hope that oh, the Lord's got your back and He will carry you, and He will take care of you. And um, you know, you can trust in Him, and He will love you like you've never been loved before. 
His word, my hope secure.